Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from Stem APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue with the using OpenCV and combining it with the FLTIC or FullTIC uh, library. And uh, in this tutorial, I want to build on what we have done in the last couple tutorials. Uh, I'm going to apply one of the most famous algorithms to detect edges, uh, which is the canny algorithm. And it's a good segue because it will combine everything that we have done so far. And, and I will show you how easy it is to tweak the code to apply any algorithm that you that you want. In this case, can is used a lot in, in for a license plate uh, detection, recognition, it's used for many things. It's one of the most popular out there. And if you've been watching some of my other videos, you know that I, I, I in my other videos, I go in depth uh, about explaining the Kani algorithm. I'm not gonna do that now. I'm assuming that you know what the Kani Edge Detector is. If you want to know, learn more about it, you can go to the OpenCV, Open Source Computer Vision uh, website. And in this page here, it will, you know, it will explain what's going on behind the scenes, behind the code. And uh, what I'm going to do is just take uh, the parts of this code and I'm gonna tweak it uh, in order to incorporate it with uh, the code that I have already shown you. So basically, if you wanna learn more about it, you can go here. Uh, if you want a copy of my code, I, I, I hope that you follow me on GitHub. Uh, it's here, the last tutorial is this one right here, and I'm including the code I, I already uh, uploaded it to uh, GitHub, so it's there for you guys to copy and do whatever you have to do with it, okay? So let's go and show you. The first thing that I'm going to do is, uh, this is the same code, but uh, obviously it's expanding because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm expanding it here to include the, uh, this is all the same. This is all the same here from the other tutorial, but as you can see here, I'm introducing the low threshold. You need that threshold uh, in order for the Kani algorithm to work. You need the ratio, you need the kernel size. Uh, you can tweak these numbers to, uh, to help you in your particular situation. These are not constant numbers. In this case, they are here, but uh, this can be changed. So this is the function here. Most of the work is done here. Uh, I'm blurring, as you can see. Uh, I'm detecting the edges using the low threshold. This low threshold right here, I just put it at 75. You can play with it to, to see which one it applies to your application. Uh, this threshold, uh, uh, this number here is going to be multiplied by the ratio number and also is going to apply the kernel size. And if, like I said, if you want to know what's going on, just go here and it explains uh, what is being done. Okay, so let's go back to my code here. This is the function. Everything here is the same. I haven't changed anything. All I'm doing is uh, uh, adding the blur and adding this line right here. And, and all this line does is is put this function into action, okay? And uh, I'm going to show you what it does now. And I'm gonna show you two thresholds and you so you see the difference uh, when you do change the uh, thresholds. Right now I'm gonna use 75. So let's do control X and save it. And let's compile. And this is using a uh, low threshold of 75, but uh, depending on how many edges you want, depending on how many uh, you, edges you want to see on your end result, you can tweak this number. So now uh, let's go to this one. And as you can see, this is where it comes handy, the resizable uh, portion of the of the image resizing. As you can see, it becomes a lot better to work with. 
and being that here is the one that we're working with, I is is one. So it's these two guys here are sharing space. This one is by itself. That's why it's larger. And and there's a reason why I made it larger. This one is because this is the one that has the algorithm as you can see the edges it picks all the edges on the street and the car and here this is where it becomes the magnifier comes to play here because you can magnify regions of interest in the picture that you want to see as you can see uh, you see how well it's doing with particular edges oh, so this is with 75. So let's say that and you can also use the viewer for everything else like I showed you last time. But let's say that now you want to increase the low threshold. So all you need to do is open your code and just change one line. That's all you need to do. Let's say that we want to make it 100. And then close it, save it, compile it again. And uh, it, it might work better with, with a higher threshold for you. Uh, so I will show you. So now let's run it. And there it goes. As you can see, the threshold is a, a lot, uh, it's higher, so it's a, a lower threshold. So it's speaking less uh, detail, but it might be better for your particular application as long as you get the necessary edges uh, or the regions of interest that you actually care about, okay? And this is how easy it is to apply uh, algorithms to this uh, combination of using FLTK and OpenCV in the same program. And as you can see, there's not that many lines of code and uh, it's very, these lines of code right here, that's all it's doing all of that work. Uh, of course, it's using the implementation files and the header files from the, the code that, I, that I, we mentioned before. This is Vincent Crochet's code. And, uh, and this is how easy it is. You can change the image that you're working with here. Uh, you can, I'm going in, in future tutorials, I'm going to show you how to do it uh, live uh, using a video and uh, it's very easy to do and uh, but uh, that, that will be in a, in a future tutorial I don't want to make these tutorials too too long so this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial uh, please click the like box subscribe to my channel follow me in github and twitter and I will see you next time with another tutorial have a great day take care